Um, hi, I'm Serenity. I'm from Blue Center, Ohio, and thank you all for coming today. <clears throat> In front of me is the Saraswati Veena. It is one of the oldest instruments in the um, Indian classical tradition. It was, according to the history, invented more than 2,000 years ago. And um, I'm grateful for the library and for Dwani for allowing me to be here today. And we can get started. Um, I'll be starting off this performance with a varnam. It's a type of composition um, traditionally played in Carnatic concerts. And it's kind of like an exciting introduction to all the concerts. Thank you. So uh, 
I've been learning since I was about four years old. I'm currently a junior in high school, 11th grade. So, been quite a while. <clears throat> Initially, that's actually my dad there, right here, and he was my first teacher. Um, it's kind of like a family tradition passed down from my grandmother, he learned from her. And uh, he initially taught me all the basics in compositions like this, actually. And then I learned with a, started learning from a professional musician, Nirmala Rajasekhar. She lives in Minneapolis, and she is a performing artist. She also plays the Veena. Um, so yeah, it's been quite a while, more than 10 years. Yes, and this is actually a drone. Um, this kind of mimics the actual instrument, the tambura. Okay. Um, so this is, yeah, basically the same thing. It uses the drone to make sure we're in tune for all the instruments and singing. Yeah. So uh, the next composition we'll be doing is sort of mimicking a main piece that would be in a concert, more condensed version of it. And um, I will start off with a little bit of improvised um, compositions. So the first is called the Alap. This is a piece where there is no rhythm of any kind. It's more just like melody, kind of like exploring the raga or like, you know, the set of notes. And then after that, I will do the Thanam, which is also Im improvised completely, but it's ha it has a pulse that kind of like goes with the melody. So it's not a complete composition, but it's also like pulsated. And then I'll move on to the actual composition itself. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. 
Competition and there's like concerts that happen. So for that, um, I was part of an ensemble that my teacher was doing called Vina Ganam. So there's like 20 something Vinas and vocalists and stuff. So for concerts like that, or even competition prep or solo concerts, that's when I spend about two to three hours a day on practice. Or during Chennai in India, during the December music season, that's when there's a lot of chaos going on. So okay. I have to practice a lot more often. Um, but usually I, I try to practice at least 30 minutes to an hour a day, okay. give or take. Do you play any other instruments? I don't, but I do sing. Um, I'm in choir for school. When Did you like read, like you read for how play, how to do music too? For this? For choir. For, for, oh yeah, for choir, yes. I'm in, uh, you know, like concert choir and then in show choir, so just like theater, that kind okay, of stuff. Cool. So I don't play any other instruments though, it's the only one. 